Good evening and welcome to another unboxing video. So Warlord Games uh, released their uh, Desert Armies today and um, as usual I popped over to my favourite war game store over at uh, Lost Art Games in Stevenage and picked up um, a few bits and pieces. So I've got the uh, box of British 8th and Africa Core. I'll look at the British in a different video. Um, I had great excitement today. I took a couple of hours off work uh, to zap down the A1 to Elstree to take my big camera, or to collect my big camera. I, I took it there on Monday uh, to have a new screen fitted, as uh, photography is my other main hobby. And uh, the screen hasn't worked for four years. I haven't been able to afford, or uh, uh, or when I have been able to afford, I haven't had the time. Um, so eventually I took it in this week and um, when I realised that uh, Lost Ark were, were going to get the uh, figures in today I thought I'd combine that so I've collected the camera and back up the A1 which goes past Stevenage so a quick detour off the A1 into Stevenage and uh, into Lost Ark Games and this is what I've got. So this is the uh, the Africa Core kit uh, standard uh, Warlord Games box, um, 30 plastic figures. And on the back we get uh, the usual blurb telling us uh, what's inside the box and what we can make. This one comes with uh, a decal sheet, a little bit of information and uh, some painted up examples. Looking rather nice. Um, and uh, helpfully it comes with some colour suggestions. Um, I'm not sure whether I've got those particular colours. I think I've probably got most of them. Um, well, certainly I've got the Panzer Aces Canvas colour. Well, I'll have to see what, what other ones I've got. Um, anyway, this is uh, the box. So let's have a look inside and see what they look like. Get the cellophane off. So, what have we got? We have our uh, standard set of bases. We've got our information sheet. With uh, some suggestions for... Uh, Building and basing them. And then on the back we've got our standard Warlord Games cheat sheet showing us all the uh, the parts and telling us exactly what they are and on which body they go. We get uh, oh, some uh, four five oval bases. We get our little um, packed by. Oh, thank you Mirella. Oops. And we get our decal sheet showing the uh, sleeve or colour Cuff uh, uh, bands, a couple of uh, some rank badges, and a couple of minefield signs, as well as the um, helmet stickers. So, 
One, two, three, four, five. And they are all the same. I think. So, yeah, they're all the same. So five sets of sprues. And let's have a look at the figures. Whoop. Let's get the uh, that light on. So we've got a kneeling, four standing, and one prone. So it uh, looks like the usual quality of figures. I do like Warlord figures, uh, the heroic 28mm. And uh, what have we got for arms? So we've got anti-tank rifle and machine gun. We've got uh, rifle, binoculars, submachine gun. A rifle. We've got a little uh, mortar. Some machine gun ammo. Trigger. Tr trigger finger. Uh, we've got slung rifle. Grenade, um, machine gun, uh, holding the machine gun stock, another submachine gun, another rifle, so we don't have any um, double arms apart from the binoculars, so the rest are all single arms. Left and right. We've got the kit. Some more kits at the top. On the map for the officer. Pistol, binocular pouch, Luger, pointing hand, and then uh, some heads. So we've got some pith helmets, glasses, so we've got two, uh, one wearing goggles, one with goggles. One with a mask. We've got some nice, uh, oh, nice officer there with goggles. We've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six helmets, and one, two, three, four. Oh no, tell a lie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven helmets, and one, two, three, four forage caps. And six pith helmets. So interesting uh, variations on the the heads that I've not seen before on some of the other kits. We've got the uh, uh, face masks, uh, scarfs. We've got uh, one with goggles around his neck. Not seen that before. Uh, face mask and goggles. Not sure what this guy is. What's that? He's, it's, this one behind my finger. He's got some very pronounced lips there. So, uh, interesting kit. I shall look forward to building those up. Unfortunately, I've been building up so much stuff 
that those are going to go on the uh, to-do pile. I'm not sure when I'm going to actually get round to them, but we'll see. Oh, there's another uh, double arm there with a machine gun, so two double arms, the rest are singles. Anyway, that's it. Uh, so the brand new Warlord Games Africa Core plastic 28mm figures. Thanks for watching.